you're in losers now and you gotta go back to best of three. So, ah, good luck. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Two, three, two, one, go! Okay. Understandable. Uh, stretch takes game two as we start game one here on Pope Stadium. Oh, oh, oh. This is quite, quite the familiar, quite the familiar setup. WebJP on PS2 against Pal uh, Palutena. But this Palutena happens to be Spira, and he'll have to give it one crack at seemingly invincible momentum that WebJP has been riding. Lucas and his incredible safety as well as pretty solid mid-range game and these powerful downer conversions and the mix-ups out of down tilt. WebJP just knows knows when to react and knows when to trust his own uh, trust his execution. You know, Spiro trying to get trying to get on the board a little bit more. 31% is out of out of mid or standard bread and butter combo range, but a couple up there is gonna make up the percent difference just a little bit. A back air puts the GP back off stage. He goes deep and still makes it back. Using his double to land the back air as that uh, GP was caught in the weakness of Lucas's very variable recovery. That being actual PK Thunder 2. So, numbers, plain splashing, numbers. We have to him off stage, but we are not even messing with the ledge trap thing. Just going right over his head, right, right to the PSD platforms. And f is gonna two frame. Let's go ledge. No buy. Spear is also playing pretty hype. But two frames can be kind of difficult on Wi Fi because you have to take into account just that little bit of input delay and not wanting to have two frames to hit someone. It's a little bit tight. Nair, there, into dash attack is another 41 and 52 in climbing. You're playing playing like he got, uh, you know, he got beat up in winners and now have a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, he's starting to take it out on the poor dev. Calling out the board by just dashing into his shield. And, and climbing. Web trying to slow down the pace a little bit, holding back as he gets the parry, but he doesn't get the falling up air punish. Trying to get the most out of the parry, but he ends up getting nothing instead. Two frame with the F tilt and Spear saves his jump and he decides he will not be just gonna go high again. Black dodging and the main smash with the ultimate classic. Ooh, for a moment. He missed the final hit of the down which prevented the F smash coming through and getting the kill. But he catches that jump instead with a PK fire and suddenly it's even. Web managing to find the kill, even being this, even with the huge deficit, and making his way back, and get, getting a lead for the first time, only for it to be pushed even back and forth. 42 to 26, as Web well finds himself in a bad spot, underneath Palatine and stuck on some of these platforms. What a good angle, uh, what a good non-angle, I should say, from Spiro, trying to avoid the Lucas downer as much as possible, avoiding these two-frame opportunities that Web and, or Web and Lucas seem to be doing pretty solid at. Avoiding the grab makes sense, thanks to just a clean roll away, and the man to the jump. You definitely see a lot of the, the, the big adaptation coming out from Web, where in the early game he was playing he was playing in his face and trying to use this uh, Lucas's promising aerials to play really safe on shield, as we see right there using his frame to jab as a as his own his own mix up. But this time we see a bit more patience coming out from Web as he's managed to regain his lead and regain it. PK fire and copious use of shield and uh, plenty of empty hops as you see just bounced around the entire stage. It's gonna be what he's using to to try and look for this final kill. Waiting out the estimates, but not being too risky going for a dash grab instead just waiting around and seeing what seeing 
what Spear does. Head for the stage and tethering, tether canceling further. But at least that could get to get under two, but the old man is gonna get back just fine. He's been ledge trapped for it feels like for about 40% and still going. 135. Frequently aggressive off ledge, something that the spear is taking plenty of advantage of. Waiting at roll distance and putting that hitbox when it's there. Fortunately for Lucas, he has plenty of raw kill power. I like that F tilt. One, two frame is all he need. But the explosive flame catching short, catching red, dropping shield, getting ready to go for a two frame or something or any sort of challenge. But a giant fiery ball of death is gonna be what it takes his final stock. Game one. Going to Spira. My throat is. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay, and this is okay, and we're all okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> ah, man. I doubt we'll see a stage change. Web seems pretty comfortable on PS2. It's one of those stages that really doesn't really help or hurt Lucas in any way, besides it being pretty long. Plenty of, uh, plenty of off, decent amount of off stage space, but with its ledge, with its plasma being pretty close to its ledges, that means it's tethered decently well. But we will skip stage two. I didn't expect the character swap. As far as I know, Web only plays Lucas. As we see him, as both these players have their characters as their icon and their fighters, but Kyle Fight. This is New York Luke's And there's actual stage difference in the ride. So we see Lucas on Kyle. And yeah, I can see that. Because the center, the platform over the ledge can make it uh, fairly. Fairly good for for the recovery mix up this change to cutter. Three of those groups. Additionally, the uh, the cutter center stage can make uh, teleporting to stage and avoiding avoiding ledge traps, something that uh, the spear had been a couple times on the PS2. Uh, those aren't a thing. He has to go through those tele he has to go through the ledge or to the or it's not not a thing. It makes it much more easy to interact. Speak up for that. Okay. It makes it a lot easier to um, to catch center stage, but the teleport points are what's going to be real. Hmm. Alright, yeah, for this is still fun. Even on Cow, it's going to work. Okay, it looks like that. PSI magnet was going to absorb, but it must have hit just behind Lucas's magnet. Something that doesn't, uh, it doesn't go all around Lucas, it goes just in front of him. A uh, slight difference, but one that made the difference there. Oh, the turnaround grab is beaten by just a lost block out. But a tech away is going to hard to get the catch on Spira's side. You want to end a stage, you want to go for another. there. Down to it, into a down. Lucas is so safe on shield, like all of these aerials. That is always so aggressive off these stage. Like Lucas off stage has so many mix up things too. A pretty quick tether and phenomenal air drift. But these aerials. Minus three, min a minus three or minus two forward air, a minus five back air, minus three up air. Like he has the right to be aggressive because, oh boy, like Hero has to guess what option is coming next, especially with minus two's air. Rev is playing in the driver's seat when it comes to the, the classic mud trap of holding shield at ledge. He knows what he can do around it, and that is come up aggressively and get right by you. Speaking of getting right by you, um, that grab certainly didn't. And, uh, 
Is that a thing? That is a whole stock up. Cow is proving to be the right pick. It's a huge amount of parry. Does it mean anything further? Just a jab. Spear trying to make up some ground here. Out of the I'm getting a little bit more attention now. None of the percentage really makes a totals into much to. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta even talk about that. A trade turning into uh, Spira's total favor as he gets it. the dare, up smash, and up air. All for a crazy ladder. And more. Spiro not letting up the pressure as he cream traps that up there. 58% in the blink of an eye, and suddenly this game just got a whole lot more even from the 30 seconds ago. As a miss coming up from JP, that JP not hitting the dare, or not hitting the S-Max out of the dare. Opening red delight, the web is too light on the 2 frame attempt. Somebody's that grab what is policy. The FJP decided, hey, yeah, I know you're gonna shoot. I know you're gonna shoot. Yeah. And now we're back to a similar situation as game one, but as this time, it's gonna be Red JP coming with the victory. Instead of playing the mid-range game, he uh, he decided, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look for my nair confirms and nair down to a grab. Gonna be what takes it. So 1-1 one, one going into game three. An important game that will decide counter pick advantage. And with how that but with how that Carlos game went, counter pick advantage might not prove excuse me, might not prove too uh, too important. While important on Webb's counter pick and on arguably Palutena's best stage in PS2, both games were extremely close. So it'll be a matter of shoring up the execution on both players' sides and holding, trying to hold the leads when they gain them. Because both, both games got really tight when it seemed there was a very large disparity on the lead going into the second stock. Battlefield makes sense. This is another whole great stage for Power Can. And the creative sense of verticality might be to get away from some of Lucas's more uh, horizontal zoning and aggression. Let Lucas commit to his double jump a little bit more if he manages it. Uh, if he decides to go for it at all. And if he doesn't, well then Power Can stays safe. And Spiro is willing to take that trade, it seems, as all we see are auto reticles and explosive flame. Oh, dangerous rolls. Web goes for another crap, but Spiro been playing, has been playing his, playing his odds very well, avoiding all these 50 50 crap situations. One or two down tilts, but those aren't safe ones, safe stale. As one, two, three up airs comes out from Spiro. Yeah, you can't just like get a radical in that. Web will be very, very gratefully taking taking some of that health back. Another aggressive option, but Spiro waiting at roll distance, not minding the aggressive uh, <laughs> the aggressive option, but that time waits out the neutral gap in order to get it. Hit the back there, but now he finds himself on the back foot. Going off stage against Lucas is something you both want to do and don't want to do, because while he can be edge guarded just like that, auto that for coming in clutch, the same vein, just so much air drift and momentum with, with the addition of Feather Grab and the Tether Recovery. He's not reliant on an air dodge like Nasty. The longer reaching PS uh, Thunder 2 helps with that as well. So Lucas can spend a pretty long time off stage. Uh, 
catch the catch the attempt to regain center stage, but Vera ends up doing a great job reacting to the air dodge in the breakdown with just a jab, that's all he needs. Barely missing that up smash. Oh, okay, we pretty solid amount of damage on that platform. So at least is it just a little too real as he goes to out. So immaculately. Focusing on ledge traffic and staying by the ledge. Yeah, letting his letting his aerials linger as the trade. But a great recovery, getting the bounce as 142 Red is still living. And but not able to take the first time still. Alright, just Getting on top, tried and true, waiting at little distance and finding that FTO. Still not yet. Lucas is base, fair, all base knockback. And, well, not all base knockback, but. Finally, get out of the fast match with Lucas. And a PK fire starts to rapid damage, but he really needs to start getting things going on his way. Holding center stage will definitely do that. As long as Power Can isn't able to start getting her getting her short hat aerials going, then suddenly he has a definite opportunity to get back into this game. But getting on leg, getting off his ledge it really be the first priority, which he does pretty without without a scratch. Maybe taking out a little bit more damage. 117 climbing ledge, turning on the jets and catching the jump with the PK fire. 40%, not much at all. Effectively one he's already out of bread butter percent for power cana. He's within his own right to start marrying this goddess. 42 to 54, and suddenly it's even, and he's in the lead. A bouncing back to stage. Hero letting the lead slip from his fingers yet again. He needs to close this gap and start putting on, answering this train of the that he's found himself on. Going deep. But the big snake coming in clutch in order to get back to stage. Once, now twice. He misses the two from the down point. Yet, always patient and patience on edge and unseen, an unseen option. And finally catching that teleport on the platform. Just enough to have it. And up there is enough. Damage is damage. 115 to 102. Damage can start racking up and meaning a lot as Bear catches Palutena on her head and takes the game to. Takes the game three when it looked dire. Web's pretty good at this game, for sure. And then it's something rattling for Spiro. I doubt we'll see his stage like Lisa last year. Yeah, just go right back to Battlefield. It's your counter pick and it will stay your counter pick. Stage didn't do anything wrong, you just Spear would would have liked to hold center stage a lot more than he did in the in the winning moments of that game. But that game is uh, that game's in the past now. Uh, excuse me. Starting off with some folks. Remind that he's in a dangerous, <laughs> in a dangerous situation. Web look for it all. Uh, don't mind that. I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Misses, but Web is able to cover himself. One, two down smashes. Yeah. 
you're looking for a way on stage that decides to go up and over as web boots for some sort of grounded off the grounded search. One, two, three. Web always finds these three piece these three piece combos and all of them do so so much damage. 152. Apple kill, looking out for that each get up or that get up attack rather. Now the web is firmly in the driver's seat and not happy to let it go, but this set has told us anything is that weeds are fickle things. Look at that. Just the whole point coming out from where when he finds the damage he can take it. Reversing his direction so he gets to the back air. Web starting to starting to catch on to a lot of Spears' teleportation habits. Looking for punishes, even though he's a little bit off timing, as the Tomahawk down smash. Blowing up the spot dodge from JP. That damage is going to be definitely necessary for the spear is going to try and take some of this game momentum back and take this game as a whole. 42% is a solid start, but you're going to need to double it in order to get back to even playing field. So I still feel like he doesn't need to approach and playing it right and playing it with that in mind. Playing relax, playing on a shield, trying to try and poke. Getting the ledge. PK That's just kind of mid range zoning that is both infuriating but something that Lucas does plenty well. As another PK fire is what more it is to put Spear in a bad spot that's set up for that down plan. And Red is back in the driver's seat with a low percentage. Both these both players can really fun at executing these low percent combos. It's funny to kill this that portion that we're having some trouble with. But that is definitely something that Spiro's starting to take to heart as the wall down wall back here is gonna be with that stuff. Put himself in a position to start getting start calling back his way up. The mountain yet. Spear stays alive, and that should do not do it, I would say. I would say that if I was a fool, which I am not, but that will start burning some burning some cinders as Web 